Yo, what's up, YouTubers? It's SD Gaming. We are in Fallout 4 today to be looking at building an actual vault. With awesome, the awesome modifications that's out today, you just cannot resist going back to Fallout 4 because the content is absolutely amazing and it's begun to be keeping you going for many years to come because the modders are extremely gifted. So, I was asked by a couple of the settlers that they had enough of living above here and they wanted me to construct a base and I'm like, are you really sure you want me to construct another vault? And one of them came up to me and he says, son, war never changes. I was like, shit, I'm going to build you a vault right now. So let's move in over to this vault. So during this while we're going to be looking at the vault I've built, I want you to be hitting me some comments below. Let me know if you need any advice, if you want me to point you out in the right direction, you're stuck on how to build something, you can't put something over there. Anything you need, hit me up and I will try to get back to you as soon as I possibly can because I know sometimes it can be quite tricky. You can find all the construction you need in your actual menu and first of all I'll ask you to lay out your actual unit over here. So once you've constructed it, your vault, you're going to be able to walk up to it and press A which will activate it. And there we go guys, we're entering the actual vault. And welcome to my vault. So I put a couple of turrets out here because that's the main place someone's going to try to fuck you from. Good luck to them. Now as soon as you come in here, immediately to your left, you will have a preset up workbench, as you can see there. On the workbench it will contain quite a few of the actual things you need. options it does sometimes take a bit for them actually to load up. Now the first thing you've got to decide what you want to do with your main entrance. What I did I created an actual lift here. Now when you're creating things here's a quick tip as well because sometimes you might be struggling once you're getting the lift to pull something towards you and you're like how the hell do I do this? It's really a simple technique and I'll quickly show you now. So say for example I've got that item in front of me and I want to move it towards me. I'm running around trying to fit it into an item but I just can't do it. There's a way that you can actually do this and you're probably wondering how he's doing that. Now if you hold your A down and this is for the Xbox users it will be a different button for the PlayStation. Hold the button A down and just move your analog stick and that way it'll pull the object closer or farther depending on how you want it. That will really help you out because when you're actually stacking doors up to the actual lift You've only got that little confined space there to be in, so you do need to pull it towards you. So that's one greatly good tip in case you're actually just scratching your head wondering how the hell do I do this. So moving on. We come to my second throw which is platformed. I spent quite a lot of hours up doing this guy so I hope you really like it as much as I do. So let's explore the top deck first, I'll take you around the top deck. Now a couple of tips on building this, if you want to build something similar with a layout of down below as well while keeping your balcony up top, I recommend stopping your lift on say the mid level and building above first. You always want to work your railings above. Don't start from the ground, it'll never work out that well. It's much easier if you start from above. So going to my first room, this hallway over here takes us to the war room. Now the war room is empty at the moment and it will be stocked up with a lot of ammo. Now there's two doors into the actual war room but the restricted access because you're only going here in case of emergency as you can see there. So people only enter the war room when there's an actual war and we're hoping that's going to be avoided but war's war. So this is the actual war room, we 
have lockers over here, it's going to be stocking it, people's armor, equipment, we have benches over here, these are going to be full with armor, we have surveillance keeping track of everybody and where everybody is, just so we can make sure what's going on, it also seats outside the actual vault as well. Over here is some empty tables where weapons will be stacked up, being able to grab them when you need to in an emergency. These strobe lights over here, once it goes dark, these strobe lights are really powerful. So we're just going to quickly run across to the one over there, because we're going to explore the top deck first. Now over here is the settlers quarters. These are where everybody lives basically. Each room is identical apart from the overseer's room which is right down there. There you can go, there's two beds in each one so it allows two people to stay. They've got the nice beverage rack for only the top of your room in the night and it's nice and cosy. And I'll just show you my stats on there just so you can see how many beds I actually own. See there I have 34 beds available. So that's two in each one which is more than enough for anyone. These are automatic doors so you can go in and out without worrying about locking them and closing them each time because it just get kind of annoying and I didn't want all the doors standing there open wise. Now there is a limit to how far you can actually build so you'll just have to test yourself and see how far you can go until you hit the boundaries. Now here's the actual overseers. The overseer is a pretty modernised one compared to all these. see the overseers is really nicely done you have the beautiful xbox because who wouldn't need an xbox in any nuclear war of course you need that shit it's got a nice modern bed nice modern air vents it's got a nice little filing cabinet up here and it's kind of like a nice chilled out and it's definitely more high ranking than the others because it is the overseers bedroom Now this is a relatively new game and I just did wanted to build this vault straight away because I was itching to do it. So there is no settlers or anything at the moment but it will be steaming before not long with loads of people coming in and going. Now this is the downstairs. This area is where people can just sit down, relax, just do whatever they want to do and watch the busy life go by. Over here we have the actual kitchen area which is where most of all the food is served up and etc. We have also a washing area over here where people can keep everything clean so we don't want no dirty motherfuckers. Over here is the study room. This is where people study, where kids learn better things and everybody becomes more intelligent so we can make more cool shit apart from nuclear bombs because we're done with that shit. Gets the old Nuka Cola as well, and the old Bobblehead, so they can punch it in the head when it gets annoying. Over here is like the little shopping area. This is just so we can keep trade coming in and out because even though these settlers didn't like the outside, they still want the goods from the outside. So we've got to kind of meet a new halfway. So this is just all the stores that's going to be occupied by settlers. Over here is the bathroom area, as you can see it's all nice and tidy, it looks really, really clean, everybody's got soap, toilet paper, everything you would desire for any type of emergency, it's basically like a fucking five star hotel down here. Over here is a double door which leads to the room, the room is really big because it's got to occupy a lot of residents. Here's a nice room, we've got a nice brand new TV where people can just chill out and watch whatever they want to do and just in case people don't like that channel there's also another TV over here because people like different things so it helps for people to have two different sides to go to. Nice cozy fireplaces to keep the actual room warm, we've got a nice music system to chill people out and a couple of games to pull but they will be full soon with pool balls and etc. 
etc. As you can see the deco is really nice as well, it's got two overlooking gardens and we've got a couple going down there as well. So, there's only one more thing left in this actual vault and you're probably wondering what else does he need? He's got an armory, he's got shops, he's got a study area, he has a kitchen and he's got a full living room, rolls of places to sleep and overseer's place. What are we actually missing guys? What are we missing? You're probably screaming at me like now, well we're missing somewhere to escape. Somewhere where we can have our food grown, but somewhere mainly to escape. And here we are. This elevator, as you can see, it's a definitely different colour, and this is a place where people go to retract. <laughs> So I welcome you to the actual garden.